Hello, everyone. Um, if you you come to this point in your um, your clinical development plan, uh, I know it can be kind of daunting. Um, we started we. FDA started requiring statistical analysis plans in, in you know, the early 2003, uh, 2004, and there was a lot of confusion at the time. Um, over, over these years, I've found that using a statistical analysis plan just makes such a difference in terms of the credibility of your study and your outcome, your results. Um, it, it makes it so much easier to write your clinical study report at the end of the study. And just absolutely don't fight it. It's a good thing. Um, I actually went up to Montreal and attended uh, a three-day seminar to learn how to write these things. And um, that was in 2007. And I've been doing it ever since. And um, it's really, we're going to talk about a template today. Let's go ahead and look at an overview. I think I've got one here. Okay. We're going to uh, look at the, the appropriate uh, regulatory documents. These are, you're probably familiar with these. I'll try and point out the specific sections of each as we go through. Um, the template for the uh, statistical analysis plan. And uh, all of these are available at the FDA website. Um, actually, you, can, you don't even have to go there. You can just Google ICHE6 and you'll, you'll find it. Um, okay, so we're going to go through those documents and how they relate to, First of all, the principles of a statistical analysis plan, but also to the actual format in, uh, in the template that we're going to use today. Now, there are several templates out there. Uh, some of them you have to pay for. Some of them are in the public domain. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm going to be working through one today. But there, I, th I think I have references to a couple of others, and you can always email me if you want references to any others. Um, okay, so we're going to talk about the relationship between the SAP and the clinical protocol. I'm going to go ahead and call it a SAP, and I know that sounds silly, but that's what we'll call it. Um, I, uh, one of the important things is the timing when you develop the statistical uh, analysis plan, how you handle any revisions that may come up, and usually these happen or are necessary once the study starts and you realize that maybe some of the assumptions you had when you started the study um, aren't going to fit the exact uh, statistical plan. Um, I also have a checklist that I think is kind of helpful so that you can go back and um, or. You know, I, I think it's it's important to review this before you even start writing. In fact, I think it's important for you to look at a checklist like this and, and actually know what you're up against before you even start writing the protocol. So um, that's what we're going to do today. And at the end, we're going to go step-by-step -step through a SAP template that I hope will be helpful to you.